everybody. Welcome to Music Moves for Piano, Book 1, Unit 12. We're going to start off with our duplometer song. Bum, 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 sing with me. Duplometer moves in two, moves in two, moves in two. Duplometer moves in two, move in two with me. And chant macro beats on do. Do, 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 micro beats. Do, day, do, day, do, day, do, day. Echo me, please. Do, do, day to do. Do, day to do, do, day, do. Do, do, ta, do, do. Do, day to do, day, do. Thank you. All right, we're going to do some movement. I'm going to play spinning two times, and I'd like for you to move. The first time, would you move your body very gently? I like play. The second time, would you move very roughly while I play? We're going to do some more movements while I sing some songs. I'm going to sing This Old Man. And while I sing it, would you move your whole body very slowly? With a knick knack patty whack, give your dog a bone. Bum, bum, ba, ba, bum, bum, bum. Now I'm going to sing handkerchief dance. Would you please sway and make sure you move your hips as you sway? Do, so, so, ba, so, fa, mi, re, ti, do. And handkerchief dance. Yep. I'm going to sing Down Came a Lady. Would you just jiggle your upper body while I sing? Now I'm going to sing Daughter Come Home. Before I sing, would you help me sing La? La. All right, now we're going to do a mirror dance, and you can do this with someone at home. Or you can be my mirror. I'll do a move and you be my mirror. And when I stop singing, freeze and sing. La. Here we go. sing it, would you dance like you're covered with feathers? Just very light. <laughs> Our song to sing for this unit is called Russian Folk Song 2. I'm going to sing the song two times. The first time, would you just move your arms in a continuous and flowing way? 
This second time, would you move as if your whole body is floating, but your feet are still? <laughs> Mark did that good. All right, would you echo these tonal patterns, please? Bum, bum. Now we're going to sing these tonal patterns on solfege, or our tonal syllables. Mi, do, re, ti, do, la, la, do. All right, this time we're going to sing the song together. I'm going to sing it two times. If you're feeling pretty comfortable with the song, you can join me the second time, and then we're going to break it apart a little bit, sing it one more time. Bum, 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 here I go. Ba, ba, bum, bum, ba, 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 if you're feeling comfortable, you can join me the second time. You can move lightly while you hear the song. You can sway back and forth. You can move your arms if you want to. Or you can just be still and listen. Up to you. Bum, 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 here we go. Ba, ba, bum, bum, ba, 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 um, now we're going to sing just a couple of parts from the song. Bum, 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 bum. Those were our first two tonal patterns. Mi, do, re, ti. Right at the beginning of the song. Bum, 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 bum. And then after that, bum, bum, bum. Which is do la ti ba 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 bum bum Okay now I'll do that whole part we'll sing that together ba ba bum bum ba ba bum ba 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 bum bum together ba ba bum bum ba ba bum ba 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 bum bum when you sing that twice, that's the whole song. Let's sing the entire song together and then we're going to move in triple meter. Bum, 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 one more time. Ba, ba, bum, bum, ba, ba, bum, ba, 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 bum, bum. Ba, ba, bum, bum, ba, ba, bum, ba, 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 bum, bum. Let's do some moving in triple meter. We're going to start by singing the triple meter song. Do mi so so ma so fa mi re ti do. We're gonna move, sway back and forth. Keep your toes on the floor. Ankles are coming up. And if you want, you can move your hands like this, or you can just move your arms with your feet. Just try. You can try that if you want. Bum bum bum. Sing with me. Triple now, feel as we're moving in three, moving in three, moving in three. Triple now, feel as we're moving in three. Move now in triple with me. And chant macro beats on do. Do, do, do. Micro beats. 
Dee do da dee do da dee do da dee. Pick one. I'll do do's. Do do do. Switch. Do da dee do da dee do da dee do da dee. Echo me, please. Do da dee do do da dee do. Do 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 da da dee do. Do da dee do da dee do do. Do da dee do do da da dee do. All right, I'm going to sing a song called "Girls and Boys Come Out to Play." Three times. So before I start, would you join me in singing do? Do. Would you just move lightly when I stop singing, freeze and sing do? Hi, Clara. Ba, 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 ba. Do. Would you please do a dance for your hips? This is going to engage your whole body. The third time, would you move to macro beats and micro beats? So what we're going to do is we're going to sway back and forth, keep those toes on the floor, ankles are coming up, and for your hands, you can either go which is down, middle, up, down, middle, up, do, da, dee, do, da, dee. Or you can pat them in the air. Do, da, dee, do, da, dee, do, da, dee, do, da, dee. You can choose. So do, da, dee, do, here we go. Bum, ba, bum, ba, bum, ba, bum. Bum, ba, 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 ba. We're going to do some tonal patterns in major tonality. After I sing a pattern, can you help me say what the tonality and the function is? Tonality being major, because we know that these are in major, and function being tonic, we'd hold up one finger, or dominant, we'd hold up five fingers. Do, so, so, la, so, fa, mi, re, ti, do. We'll just do a few. Do, mi, so. That one is tonic major. So, re, ti. Dominant major. Re, so. Dominant major. So, mi, do. Tonic major. Now we're going to do some patterns. And what I'd like you to do is just sing the first pitch of the pattern back. Just the first one. Do, let's go a little lower. Do, so, so, la, so, fa, mi, re, ti, do. All right, just the first one, and then don't sing after that. Do, mi, so, do, so, re, ti, so, Ti, re, so, ti, so, mi, do, so. All right, this time we're going to sing only the resting tone. So that's only do. No matter what I sing, make sure you sing do. Sometimes it might be a little harder than other times. Do. Mi, so, do, so, re, ti, do, ti, re, so, do, so, mi, do, do. This last time, go ahead and just sing the
the whole pattern back, all three pitches. Do, mi, so. Do, mi, so. So, re, ti. So, re, ti. Ti, re, so. Ti, re, so. So, mi, do. So, mi, do. We are going to come to the keyboard. Actually, I am. I'd like you to stay away from the keyboard for a little bit. I am going to play something either in a separated style of articulation or a connected style of articulation. Remember, separated style means that you can hear a little bit of space between the notes. Sometimes it's really true silence and sometimes it's almost silence. It's just a little bit of space. Connected means that there's no space between the notes. It feels like you're walking from note to note. So while I play, would you please just close your eyes and listen? And after I'm done, say if you think I played in a connected style or in a separated style of articulation. That one was a connected style. All right, how about this one? That one was a separated style of articulation. Okay, now we're going to make it a little bit more challenging. So this time, I'd like you to move in a large flowing way if you hear a connected style of articulation and in a light bouncy way whenever you hear a separated style. I'm going to change back and forth from one to the other and try to mess you up. Can you follow along? Did you follow along on all the changes? That was a lot of them. They came really fast sometimes. All right, we're going to play a few games when G is Do. I don't know if you remember this. We had done it a little while ago. This is in your student book, Music Move for Piano Book 1, on page 30. So it will show you on this page. I know you can't see from there. Maybe I'll make it easier. You can see right here how to find G, Do on the piano. All right, so we're gonna find a G. Here's what I'd like you to do. I'm going to chant do days, and while I chant them, can you play a G on every do? Get your hands ready. We're gonna play every G on the piano. Maybe just one hand, you can choose. Do day, do, here we go. Do day, do day, do day, do day, do day, do day, do day. Now we're going to play the tonic, dominant, tonic, melodic cadence when G is Do. That means we have our tonic major chord and then our dominant major chord and then we go back to our ton tonic major chord. This is also found on page 30. This first time, we're only going to do the first version of the dominant major chord. We're only going to do so T. So we're going to sing it first and then play. Do, mi, so, so, T, so. <laughs> I'm so used to going on to the second one. Just kidding, we'll try it again. Do, mi, so. So, T, Do, Mi, Do. And then we're going to play it just like that. You can use a separated style of articulation to play. When you go to So, T, make sure that you don't twist your hand like this to get to T. Make sure your whole arm moves forward to get up to that black key. Same thing in your 
your left hand. You don't want to twist to your pinky. Your whole arm is going to move you forward. There's also another fingering that you can do with the left hand where you can actually end on your ring finger for Do. So look in your book for that. All right, now we're going to try the other version of the dominant major chord, which sounds like so, fa, re, ti. When you do that, take a look in your book and notice which finger you're going to skip. So in your right hand, you're not going to use your middle finger. In your left hand, you're not going to use your ring finger. So just watch that. It, it's a little bit strange to get used to, but it's much more natural for your hand to follow those patterns. Again, when you play, make sure not to twist your hand. Use your whole arm to move your hand forward. Same thing in your other hand. exploration, creativity, improvisation activities for unit 12. This is on page 34. So we have two projects. For our first project, I'm going to chant a duple near rhythm pattern that's four macro beats long. I'm going to play it on one piano key, and then I'm going to answer it with a different rhythm pattern. This is helping me practice doing two rhythm patterns in a row. Do, day, do, here I go. Do, 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 day, do. One key. Do, 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 day, do. Do, day, do, day, do, do. I played the second pattern on a different key so you could hear. So I did one rhythm pattern and then I answered myself with a different pattern. When you're doing this at home, you could use the rhythm pattern that I chanted or you could come up with your own. Now let's look at the second project. I'm going to chant a duple meter rhythm pattern that's four macro beats long using divisions. Remember that divisions, if we have do, de for our micro beats, are the syllables that come in between those. So do, ta, de, ta, or do, ta, de, or do, de, ta. Anytime you have those tas, those are divisions. I'm going to play my rhythm pattern on one piano key and then improvise a strong idea with this rhythm pattern. Do, day, do, here I go. Do, day, do, do, day to do. I think that idea sounds like trumpets. Makes me think of a brass section. When you do this at home, try using a different rhythm pattern every day, or if you want to use my rhythm pattern, try using different keys every day. See how many different sounds you can make. You don't have to play with just one key. You could use a soft fist. You could play on white keys or black keys. Ooh, maybe sounds like something out of Alice in Wonderland. You could make a thunder sound. I'd love to hear what you've come up with when we have our group class together. All right, now I am going to, let's see over here. Ah, uh, yes, help you review sneaking. We're going to look at page 33. So for sneaking, remember that this one is four patterns long. Like all of our songs that we've done so far, we have four patterns. If you look at the music information box on the top of the page here, it says for the student, that's duple meter. So let's think about that. Do, day, do, do, day, do. It's major tonality, like do, mi, so, mi, do, ti, do. It's Do is G, and we've just been finding G on the piano, so we know where that is. 
and we start on Do. That means that G is going to be our first note. If you look here, you can count the sets of two black keys to find your way to where you're going to play. You don't have a lot of keys that you're using for this piece. Notice this hand is going to move. This hand will stay in one place, and this tells you exactly where they both start. I can't show you closely on the keyboard where I'm playing, so if you're having any trouble with this song, we'll look at it when we have our group class together. Once you find your spot, make sure that you sit yourself right in the middle of the keys that you're going to use, so that you're not sitting over here and trying to play like that to get to the keys. All right, here I go. Do, day, do, here I go. <laughs> patterns of do, day, do, day, and the last pattern is do. One more time. Do, day, do, ready, play. I'll do it one time without talking so that you can hear it. Do, day, do, ready, play. And now I'll go ahead and play the duet part if you want to try to play the student part along. Remember, I have two do day do's before you start to play. at the end. All right, now we're going to look way back earlier in the book at flute and bassoon. This is on page 10. If you don't already know how to play the duet part for flute and bassoon, that's what we're going to do today. So if you notice in the box in the middle of the page, this is where the student duet part is located. I'll bring the book closer in a minute. And I'm going to circle the part on the piano that's for the student duet part. All right, so here are the notes you're going to need for the student duet. And here's the place on the piano. In your books at home, would you circle the place on the piano for the student duet part? Now I'm going to come over to the piano and I'll show you how it sounds. So the student duet part gets to start this piece. So you play two patterns before we begin, and then it sounds like this. So here's your starting. So notice a couple of things about this. You use the rhythm pattern, do, day, do all the way through the piece, and then you always go two repeated notes and then the other hand all the way through until the end when you do three repeated notes. So I'll play the whole thing for you and I'm just gonna chant very softly to myself so you can hear the piano. So you get to start, I'll chant the do they do ready play while I play your part. <gasps> play the student part and I'll help you chant that do day do ready play now that you chant at the beginning while you start to play. Alright, so get yourself over here, get your hands ready, one hand on one key, the other hand on the other key, and I'll help you chant. Are you ready? I'm going to breathe. Do day do, do day do. student part in the wrong octave. 
So if it sounded a little strange, that's why. All right, now for lizards. Lizards, you might hear some similarities in the student duet part. I'm going to show you before I start here, the place on the piano. It's gonna look very similar to what you just did for flute and bassoon. So here's the student duet part. These are the keys you're going to use. Notice two of these keys are happening at the same time. And if you see the line over here, that means that those are the two fingers that are going to play those two keys. And then here's the place on the piano that you're going to play. So I'm going to bring this over. I'm just going to play it for you. Just like in flute and bassoon, you get to start. So for this one, same thing, you have do, de, do, from one hand to the other hand, except that in your second hand, your left hand, you get to play two keys at once, and just like our last piece, we have a surprise at the end. So the very last pattern is do, de, do, and then that last do, both hands are going to play, so you'll actually be playing three notes at the same time. What a cool sound. So we're going to do that together one more time, and then I'll play the student part. So I'm going to breathe with you and help you play. Get one hand on one key, the other hand on the other two keys. You ready? Ready, student part. One, two, three, end. Now if you can play that, I'll go ahead and play the student part. I'll breathe with you and help you start, and I'll play in the correct octave this time. Are you ready? Do, day, do, now I'll play. Do, day, do, do, day, do, do, day, do, do, day, do. Also, what we will look at together when we have our group class time is we'll look and see if there are any things you need to do to finish your unit two review. Those songs are Indian Dance and Peter Peter Pumpkin Eater. All right, so we're going to look at spinning. This is our piece, our performance piece for Unit 12. That's on page 35 in your book, flipping now back to the middle of the book. I'm going to play the piece. I'd like you to get up away from the piano, move to macro beats, and see if you think this piece is moving in two like duple meter, or moving in three, like triple meter. So try to find the macro beats, those big beats in the piece, and see what you think. I'll play it one more time, see if you can find where those big beats are. So this piece is in duple meter, and if you're having trouble feeling where those beats are, let's go ahead and move in two. We're going to move, just sway back and forth, and if you can, try to move your hands like this, down, up, down, up for do, day, do, day, or you can pat them in the air. Do, day, do, day, do, day, do, day, day, do, day. Notice for our patterns, our first pattern is do, day, do, day. Our second pattern is do, day, do, day. Our third pattern is also do, day, do, day. And our fourth pattern is do. We always have that extra oomph in our last beat so that we can feel it. All right, now I'd like you 
to tap your hand and arm movements in the air so that you can feel where your hands are going to move in this piece. And this is kind of hard for you to see. So I'm going to turn around backwards like this. And I'm going to show you up here. Can you see my hands? Okay, if I put them above my head, I think you can see. So this is the starting spot for your hands. And I'm going to show you in the air here. Do day, do day, do day, do day, do day, do day, do. So you notice they both start here. Then this hand moves, this hand comes over, and then they finish up here. So now I'd like you to echo some tonal patterns from this piece. these patterns please. Bum, bum. Have your book open to page 35. Find where your hands are going to go for this piece. Again, you're going to go ahead and count your sets of two black keys from this side, or it would make even more sense to count from this side because it's closer to figure out where your hands are going to go. See the starting position. They're both going to start right here. Notice that both hands are going to move. So we're going to focus in just on this first pattern right here. And the first pattern sounds like this. If I chant it, it sounds like do day do day. If I sing it, it sounds like do do day. So let's go ahead and play that together. is going to use exactly the same notes in the same fingers, but this hand stays where it was. This hand's going to move. I'll play it for you. I should have sung those. Let's play that pattern. For the third pattern, your left hand is now going to come up and join. Now they're both over here. Let's play that together. And then to finish, we're going to end on do. And I kind of lean into that second beat to help remind myself. Now, if you noticed, I did something that I don't want you to do. I made a mistake. Don't make my mistake. I started myself centered right around that first pattern, and when I got over with both hands moved, I suddenly had to scoop myself over. That's very awkward to do with the piano. Not a good habit. So instead, you want to take one hand and put it on your lowest keys, your other hand and put it on the highest keys you're going to play, and sit yourself right in between. So you can lean a little bit one way to start the piece, lean a little bit the other way to finish the piece, and it's much more elegant than having to do this kind of move while we're in the middle of a piece. Not the best plan. Okay, I'm going to play the whole piece, and then I'll have you try playing the whole piece, if you can, at home, and I'll play the duet part. So here's the whole piece. Do, day, do, ready, play. duet part.
All right, so to finish this unit, what I'd like you to do is to go back to the first page of unit 12, this is page 34, and look down here at the bottom of the page where it says book and listening assignments. You'll have to look at this in your book. So I'm gonna read through these with you. For the first one, it says to review sneaking. We did that together. I played the duet part. Play with a consistent tempo. That means try to keep your due days steady all the way through the piece. Review unit two. We'll do that together in our group class. You can learn to play spinning, which we just did, and the duet parts for flute and bassoon and lizards, which we did those today as well. Also, read the music information box. What that means is when you have a piece of music, it says over here, music information for the student. When you read those, when you read something, it says duple meter, take a minute and think about what that sounds like. To me, I might think about do, day, do, do, day, do. When you look at the next one, it says major tonality. So you can think about what that sounds like. We could think about do, me, so, or I could think about sing, oh, sing a major song. You can choose what you want to think about. Then do is G. That means you're going to take some time, find do on the keyboard, find where G is, and then starts on T. We're not actually going to start on do. So if you think about our tonic dominant tonic melodic cadence where we play do, re, so, so, t. There's your T. Do, re, do. Next, it says to listen to this unit on the recording and echo the patterns. Listen to the next unit. If you want to know which tracks to do, you can look here. We have track 30 for this unit. We also have track 31. For our next unit, unit 13, we have track 32 for the song to sing. And it looks like that's it. So that means you should listen to the lesson audio tracks 20, not, sorry, tracks 30 to 32. It says to practice the new marked pages. So what I'd like you to do is in your unit 12, wherever it says rhythm context duple meter project, write today's date whenever you're listening to this for the first time. Write that in the lesson side. Same thing down here for the second project, because we did that today. And then over on spinning, over by the solo, write today's date. When we went to sneaking on the previous page, if you tried anything new today, even if you haven't showed it to me, go ahead and mark that with today's date. If you performed it with the duet for the first time, maybe tried it in connected and separated style for the first time, mark that today, and you can show that to me at your lesson, at your group class. And then the same thing way back on flute and bassoon and lizards, go ahead and mark today's date by the student duet. Use the checklist. That means anything that has today's date on a song, go ahead and practice that until you have your next class like this. Study skills. Play the tonic dominant tonic cadence and audiate the starting tone before playing each piece. That means every time you go to play a piece, if it says major tonality, do is G, go ahead and play do, me, so, so, ti, do, me, do, before you start to play the piece, and then think in your head the starting tone. If it's do, you think do. If it's T, you think T. Learn to sing the song to sing. For that unit, that's our Russian folk song too. Don't try to play it or have somebody else play it. Just listen to track 30 or to this video to work on the song. And then listen to track nine on the pattern CD and try to echo the patterns. All right, thank you so much. I hope you've enjoyed working on Music Moves for Piano, Book One, Unit 12, and I'll see you next time.